morning and welcome back to Leo Gang. It's the first day of practice and it is already smoking hot out. So I'm gonna make my way to the fox tent to find some shade and see what the riders are saying. Just sitting there. Now, uh, waiting for Jordy to find, uh, waiting for Jordy to do his job. Just uh, checking these old settings before we hit the track. So pretty standard, nothing crazy. Do what you have to do. Save on the fuck. So pressure is 87? 89. 84 in 4M. You maybe add one click of low because of the air spring is going to be softer. Let's do a run first, huh? We switched the bike from like four wheel to here because it's like really different track. It's like fast and jumps only pretty much. So you can't you can run like the bike a bit harder, I guess, kind of, and slower too because it's like uh, you don't need to come back on like rough stuff. So I'm guessing that <laughs> Jody did that, but yeah, just come here. He does what he think is best for the bike and I uh, just go and have fun on the track, so easy. <laughs> Can I help you with something? No. Anything productive or just no. same old shit? Just same old shit. Yeah. Yeah. The usual. Just like to hang with Jordy Clooney. Did you take those turns of preload back off the spring also? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was just, but the, the rebound felt nice. Okay. It's made the bike stretch out a bit though. Which I mean look at the fork. Two clicks of three. Three? You like it though? Yeah. I wonder if I should put that volume space back in the fork now. No. Well you didn't, but are you bottoming it well, out? It feels nice, mm -hmm. but uh, just so heavily weighted on the front end. Okay. Yeah, okay. Just so we the just... back's not sitting in. Mm-hmm. Maybe four. No. I like three. It's a good number. I think that's going to be enough. No, it is. But otherwise, it felt nice. I like it. Not as much of the kind of like. There's nothing. No bottom out in, uh, in the big turns. I don't know why you didn't do this before. I don't know why you didn't give me this option before. Apparently there was a shock setting that someone else has been using, but not me. And all of Nobody a sudden... Nobody else has used this. If Taj didn't let the secret open, I would not have known about it. And now it seems amazing. Good. I don't know what it is. It's extend your career by another 10 years. Hopefully. Your Just 50s. like yours. I never had a career. You're about to lose it. Maybe we should go topic. try another run. Exactly. Jibber jabber. Well, you guys want the jibber jabber. Can you I tell us how the track is running? Maybe. I'm really no. thick. You think three is going to be enough? Yeah. Maybe just add a click of low. No, where are you? Eight. Eight. Oh. High speed compression oil. High speed compression oil. If I knew what was going on with Greg, I'd be out of a job. I could just solve it in one day. We did three clicks of something. I think he'll be fine. He's a little nervous. He's new to this whole. World Cup thing. You gotta just kind of pet them, send them off on their way. It's like sending your kid to school for the first time. Wink if Greg's running prototype parts. Not prototype, just different adjustment. We've applied some secret sauce to the, the internals, yeah. It's gonna be good. Gonna leave the suspension the same just because, yeah, it was first run and you don't really know where to go. But I'm gonna remove like a stem spacer under the bar just because it's not as steep, I guess. Even if it's more steep, actually, but I'm um, weird. <laughs> so that's it. This is my day. I spent all day counting clickers. Now I've lost count. <laughs> my suspension is so hot. What do you got? Right. Oh, How is it? It's got sunshine it's in it. Yeah, it's just like the same as what we're doing now, but it just it doesn't feel bad. Mm -hmm. It just feels hot. <laughs> it, it's so fast. It's like. 
Yeah. Didn't feel bad. It just felt like slightly. Uh, just a little bit wild. A bit, yeah. I actually like held up a lot. I thought it was gonna blow. I thought it was gonna like bot bottoming out loads, but I just feel like a bit nervous, and you feel like you're not really on the floor. Like you're not tracking. Yeah. You're just like in the air most of the time. You get the same pressure. Yeah. Um, I feel a bit like manic. Okay. I couldn't believe how fast it was. I mean, I don't have to do anything. I'm bouncing down the track, like it's so weird compared to Fort William because it's really like it's kind of tight and awkward, and like you're on the brakes like all the time, really. So like on the brakes and then 180 degree turn or like 90 degrees. It's kind of you, in Fort William so fast, just like ah, this is total opposite. It's re loads of braking. Like on the first run, I just like to just do a full run and get to the bottom and. Just get it out of your system, you're so nervous, you're a bit hyped up, you're like, everyone's taking photos, it's just like, oh my god. And uh, I just like to get down and not even think about it. And it feels good, it's, they're pretty gnarly, the steep, loamy stuff. It's, I was like, ah, oh, I'm at home. Slowed the fork down one, slowed the shock down a bit. Probably just from the heat, yeah, too. Enjoy. Back to the heat. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Service and more forks, pretty much. All I do all weekend, just the service forks. But yeah, sun's shining. Can't complain really. Definitely not used to working in these temperatures, but it makes a nice change. <laughs> Whenever you hit something, it's slow and doesn't really absorb it. Just actually absorb it too much. It stay like too planted. I don't have any grip, kind of. I'm thinking about uh, cold shock already. It feels super slow, at least on the high speed shit. Big hits, you know, it's still like. Yeah, you can use the table if you. Then it's the air shock that is like that, like the air spring. Yeah, come back maybe with the coil or let me know what I should. Before it feel okay. But it doesn't feel any better than it ever. It feels the same, like when you go through something, it just like absorbs pretty good, but kind of like in. But not in a bad way, the pop. Just trying to feel good, and we built from there. But right now, I don't. Like the track is really loose and kind of slow and awkward, and when the bike doesn't help, like. So. Just trying to find the, the limit and feel good on the bike. Just a little bit. And Loris just came in, just making some changes, trying to get him happy. The temperature's probably 15 degrees warmer than it was in Fort William, so we're at like 27 degrees. It's uh, making everything feel a little bit softer, a little smoother. So closing some compressions, closing some rebounds, just little little adjustments here and there. How are the boys liking the track? Loving the track so far. They say it's cutting in real nice, all those new sections. So everyone's real happy today. Yeah, we've had a nice little chat with Geordie and you know, the standard, he's kept it dialed for us. Bing! Oh, have nightmares about counting clickers. So we fully close the clicker. First position, one. And then open it to the position it came in. If you're liking what the shock's doing, Hold me up well. But you just need to sit in a bit more. Um, they'll pick what enough. They're like in those big GRs. Yeah. It's in those big GRs, it's good. Okay. We could go up TPSI on the fork. I mean, you're. Oh, unless using I just quite shorten up the bike. Sure. I mean, that's the other option. That's what I'm feeling like. I'm feeling too stretched. Okay. Well, that was my thing a couple of weeks ago. Bring the reach back just a touch. But that's only because the bike's yeah. feeling so long like it's staying apart. You know, as soon as we compress into the shock and come shorter, the bike sinks, shrinks. So. Yeah, I'm not against either PSI in the fork or bringing it back a few mil. I feel very long right Yeah. Well, then reach would change. So you don't think going short, leave the shock hard? Yeah, if you're liking the way the shock and everything is working. Then yeah, let's do it it's, with it's working well. I've got good control, but it's, I think short for try. Uh, I'll probably go up as few as well. I'd rather not do both, but why not? Well, because you're going to shorten it, so that's going to take weight off. I the can't front. go low in the uh, low speed rebound uh, compression. Did that help? 
Do we have time to just shorten reach? Yeah. Okay. Don't know if I'm just trying to get used to the shock that's just holding me up. Maybe. Working around the shock. I don't know either. I'd rather go 550 and load up some okay. some low speed. Um, I've got like a different tuned shock. Um, uh, it's just riding too tall, so the bike feels too long. So we'll go to lighter spring and sit in a bit more, and that will shorten the, the length of the bike. The track is very slippery, mm -hmm. and sometimes my bike pushes me in the front. Does the fork feel okay? It's yeah, just the fork the is back. better, but I think it's more on the back. On, on like the big jump stuff or like the slow like... No, more on the big uh, woods. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can... Yeah, the truck is really cool but a lot of slippery with a lot of dust. It's not easy but it's cool. Yeah, it's really fun. Not easy to have a lot of speed but it's interesting for the race. Again, slowed rebound down on the fork because it's hot but her shock was actually really slow which is weird. She came in saying it was kicking but I think it's from compression instead of rebound because it was packing up from slow rebound. So we opened rebound up and we'll see what she thinks. <laughs> yeah, we're feeling pretty good. No. Mm -hmm. Go in here. Kind of got that like real just open feel. I think just the heat too. Okay. Like it just kind of has a soft, fast rebounding feel. I have that firm valve oh. air shock. Maybe. Should we try it? I feel like in the fork a bit. Okay, the fork's too soft? Yeah. Okay. We can add damping for sure. I don't want to go too crazy because you got to have traction on the I think you will with stuff, that. But just making some tweaks. kind of want to firm it up a little bit. Last week was uh, pretty cold, so a lot of times your suspension feel like a bit stiffer and slower, and then you get out here on a hot day like this, and it's just everything's all opened up, so um, just has a little bit different of a feel. And this track is kind of... I kind of just want to have a good platform like to press off of. Um, there's not a lot of rocks or anything that you're tuning the bike to try to work good in the bumps that much. So it's all about traction and then just kind of having something that's a bit yeah different setup for me. You want me to run that other shock over to John? Do you think it's worth trying? I think it's worth trying because we keep kind of closing and it always kind of seems like it feels a little soft. Yeah. Yeah, I'm dead. What'd you do on the fork? Just high close, speed? Close low one and high one. Okay. High was really open. So. Yeah, I feel like just those big step sections and everything, yeah. or anywhere where like, I do grab break and it's kind of diving, like I'm yep. all over the front. End. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then firmed up the rear just to touch. Okay. <laughs> Should I dry run like this before we switch off? Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks, brother. I'll see you in a bit. See you in a few. Aaron's doing really good. I think uh, he's up for his fifth run right now. So we're about halfway through our practice day, essentially. He's uh, starting to link things together at this point, most likely up there. He hasn't said much, but he's feeling really comfortable, feeling good. Uh, only changes we've been doing to suspension is adding a bit of uh, basically just stiffness, a little bit of compression to uh, adjust for some of the hits as well as the heat. Everything softens up a little bit when it gets warm. So just adjusting those small clicks for that kind of stuff and getting up to speed. Yeah, so just walk the track, talk to a lot of the riders. I could imagine that people are puzzling here a lot <laughs> because it's the easiest track of the year, but also probably the most difficult because there's the most to think about. If you get something just a tiny bit wrong, then you mess up, you blow out the tape, whatever. So I can imagine that people are kind of uh, really messing with their suspension, really thinking about lines, looking at video. It's just like everyone's really serious on the track, which is interesting. So, do you see how certain sections it was like real tight, flat turns? It was feeling a bit washy on the front, but it was soft. It felt too soft everywhere else. So I've gone down four mil on the stanchions to get more weight on the front end. A touch on the front. It's fun. I've been running such a consistent setup now for quite a while. It's fun to come in there. Uh, Ride something pretty, pretty different and work on the bike a little bit. Yeah, it's fun. We'll see what Jordy comes up with now. Yeah, we'll see. What pressure are you running right now? On the back. Okay. Sweet, thanks. Man. Yeah, welcome.
So you think dropping the front touch is not a bad idea? Not bad, but the rear is going to sit up way higher now, so we might end up going back. Way higher? Yes. Quite a big difference we made. Yeah. When, in the rear, when I feel like it's going to buck me, and like it doesn't, okay. which is good. That's the front good. just feels like, and you go into like fast corners, or it's, and I'm like, doesn't pull up, up doesn't pull out as much. Like it's, it's staying down a bit. And do you want it to come back yeah, a bit? It's sort of, it's not like maybe packing up a little bit. Okay. It's, it just stays that like a bit low. Okay. It's like a bit. But I keep waiting like all those through those stumps where you, you break in, then you go over, and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It feels meant. Yeah. Like, oh, it feels really good. That's a good start, man. I sped the fork up. It's a bit, yeah. yeah. Try that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be good. The handling in the rough was better, but now the control was way better. Like, easier to control, more maneuverable. Just because I, I, mean, I can ride more aggressive. Okay. Um, the other one I couldn't because I think the front was too low. It felt too long, you know, because the bike was quite stretched. I told him, go back to 8 volume space and then when you put it in one click, slower high speed rebound. I'm just too deep, I think, on the rear. I had really closed it back to normal. Nine. Yeah, eight. I prefer the 600 feeling, but I think I need to go higher up on the front, like boost the front up to cater for that rear shock. You know what I mean? And back to the 600. Yeah. Well, unless I use the old shock with the 600 spring, just slow down the dampening. Different lengths. Yeah, Lucifer, good, 600. So maybe I'll go 600 on that other shock and then set the rebound the same. Well, well do you want to come over and quickly check it? That might be nice. Hey Dial fans, I'm Chris Troyer, I'm the marketing guy um, with Fox Europe and I'm here to support our fantastic race team as well as you learn more by watching Dial the whole weekend. Still service in Forks. <laughs> um, everyone has been up riding the track, getting used to it. Uh, a few people have been in making some changes. I think the temperature's affecting things a bit so People are doing a bit of tweaking and go wait and see how they how they all go as they get more and more used to the track. But yeah, good. Most of the riders we need to um, firm up the suspension a little bit. Some smaller things on shocks, but yeah, that's all. Uh, it's still slippery and getting rougher, so switch back to the core feels good. Just slow on the jumps, I guess, but we see if we can uh, improve that. So I'm gonna go check on Jody right now. I don't feel confident on the track, it's just loose, kind of slow and everything is like, yeah, not planted, the track is shit. <laughs> yeah, I just need to get used to it, uh, I guess. Thanks. The bigger negative Now I was like trying to push more off the back. Pressing my butt on the tire almost went over the bar whenever they were like a stump. Yeah. Like, okay. but why? Like, okay. there's a piece of poo on your bike, too. Uh, Loris update, same as always. I just move things back and forth until he finally says, Yeah, it's good. I have no idea what's going on. There's some Geordie magic on the bike. Yeah, what are you looking for? He's gonna help me, hopefully. That's what he's gonna say. Make it faster. Faster and more grip. Same as everyone's saying. They're kind of enjoying it. It's a strange track. It's not when you straight away like ride and you straight away into, you know, it's like it takes a while to get used to it, you're learning the traction, where not to push. And coming off the back of Fort William where it's flat out, massive holes, super rough. Suddenly you're here and it's, it's a, you're tiptoeing in, in places, you know? So we're just trying to get that traction, trying to trying to get things moving a little bit still, but still needs to hold you up. It's just that classic balance, you know, walking that line. If it was me, I'd probably slow down high speed rebound a little bit on the shock. And maybe if it feels like it's too slow, then you could open low just a touch to get the grip back. But I think it's, we rebounds trust. are all slowing down because it's so hot. Yeah, it's like 30 degrees warm. Yeah, my advice is just slow the shock down a touch. Okay. Possibly, if if that works, slow the fork down one. I think now it feels a bit like, maybe a little bit soft in the rear. Okay. A little bit like, like I'm, 
I go, I'm like hitting my bum quite a lot. And then for William, when it was super soft, I was hitting it quite a lot. But it doesn't feel like bad, but it's, yeah, it's just a bit like, a bit soft, I think. But I don't know if, what to do, really, like pressure off. It feels, yeah, a bit like wandery. Like, I think. Like a bit sort of like this. Oh, okay. That might help actually. <laughs> like, it's so fast from the off, you know, straight away it's fast, so it's, you've got to get comfortable, like faster and faster pushing it. Otherwise, you, you do a time and you think you're fast, but you, you're miles back, you know, because everyone's fast straight away, so. We had zero time in Fort William, man. It was raining and it's a different track, blah, blah, blah. But we're just trying to dial it in a little bit. One, now that she's up to speed and she's feeling good, so added a little bit of compression and a little bit of pressure to the fork. Compression in the shock, pressure in the fork. Bottom me out pretty hard, so I like the feeling everywhere, but I just don't know if that's good or not, so just asking the man himself. And how's the track riding in? It's really loose, like it's super dry and I just feel like I'm drifting everywhere, so uh, it's pretty hard, but it's good, I like it. Hey, I'm here with Bailey Goldstone for first World Cup. First World Cup ever. In Leo Gang. It's hot, sunny, not so bad. But we just went through a basic setup for her since never worked together. If any of you have watched the basic setup video, kind of did that. Uh, set up adjusters and shock and got it sorted for a first try. Feeling actually pretty good. I thought I wasn't going to do as well as I did. This is a really exciting experience. Um, but I've hit almost everything except for one jump that I'm going to nail tomorrow. So I'm pretty stoked. Yeah. Yes. Awesome course. When you, when you need the bike to work, otherwise it's like fine everywhere. And those two, it's not there. It's like it, it's choppy and kind of slowing down, you know slow to no berm to like weird ruts and skid skiddy so trying to find like the pace and just like you have to pace yourself that's the thing cool okay i'll see you tomorrow just when i'm like just into almost the apex of the corner and you're pushing in i just like the bike to kind of Sit back a little bit more. So you want less progression in the fork. Because if you want to sit back, but like I'm attacking into it, and then it just, I'd like it to support me more, push my body weight back. Yeah, I did. Like I took off a high speed and added a low speed, and that's kind of what I was looking for. Yeah, you could. I mean, adding some low speed will give you that kind of yeah damped feel, as long as you're not struggling with like yeah the slidey, grippy bit. Uh, on the big hits and the compressions on corners, sort of coax my weight back a bit. Um, but I'd compromise too many things doing that. I think so. I'll just stick with it how it is. It's it pretty good. Pretty good struggle today. After Fort William where we didn't see anybody, we saw everybody all at once today, it seemed like. Maybe it's the heat, maybe it's just uh, tracks different than they're expecting. Maybe, it, I don't know, maybe it's always Leo Gang, I tend to forget. But we'll see how it goes tomorrow.